Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So currently copper prices are nice and high which is awesome and I've had a number of people ask me how to effectively separate their copper when they go to the scrapyard. Uh, what's a number one or number two opposed to a bare bright? So what I have behind me is a number of different copper you're going to find while scrapping. Uh, I'm going to talk about the different types, how to sort it for yourself, um, and also some rules um, that uh, you're going to need to know in order to bring it in and get um, the best value for your wire um, or copper. So there are three main categories at the scrapyard you're going to have. Bare Bright, which is the highest paid, number one copper, and then number two copper. Okay, currently Bear Bright is going for in London um, at one of the scrapyards for uh, about $4.13 a pound. Number one copper is going for $3.94 a pound. And number two copper is going for $3.78 a pound. So all three of them are awesome prices, but you definitely want to separate them effectively in order to get the highest value. Okay, so I'm going to start with Bear Bright. Um, and Bear Bright is exactly what it sounds like. It's the bright copper look, the shiny penny look. And on the side here, you can see a number of nice shiny copper. However, not all of this would be classified as Bear Bright. Um, so the first thing, copper tubing, any copper tubing that looks like Bear Bright, unfortunately, it is not Bear Bright. Um, it will go as number one copper, okay? Bear Bright pertains to copper wire, not copper tubing. So this would actually go into number one copper, okay? Which is still not bad, all right? And the wire that you have when scrapping has to be bigger than 16 gauge. Okay, and just to give you a perspective, this is your common Romex wire. This is your house wire that goes through your house. Inside, if you look inside of there, there's a nice clean strand or three strands, but two have coating. This is 14 gauge, okay? So 16 gauge is actually smaller, all right? And the rule is, if you really wanna know what 14 or 16 gauge is, is this is a pencil. It is the thickness of your pencil. So anything that is thicker than the pencil lead is going to be classified as 16 gauge or better. Okay, so one thing I do want you to understand is when you think of 16 gauge and 14 gauge, even though 14 is a lower number, 14 gauge is actually thicker wire than 16 gauge. Okay, so don't get discouraged when you read this wire and it says 14 gauge. Um, and you know, you think, uh oh, it's smaller, it's not gonna count as bare bright. No, 14 gauge is thicker. So this wire inside, once I clean it, will be classified as bare bright if it is clean, okay? So this is another wire. This is a lot thicker, um, a little bit thicker. Um, but here's your example. So this is the household wire. This is another wire that's in your house. Both of them are a nice, thick uh, copper wire look. And as you can see, Nice shiny, so these will go into bare bright. Okay, and I actually, what I do is I just ravel it up into a nice spool. Okay, so that is bare bright. This will be your highest value. Okay, um, unfortunately, this wire, this is other wire I found on different job sites. Um, you have, you know, this is the wire that comes out of your TV. Um, the old TVs, the uh, tube around it. Um, and I actually have an example right here that I've ripped open. Okay, unfortunately, as you can see inside, the strands, each individual strand has to be bigger than 16 gauge. So even though this looks like Bear Bright, they're all individual strands. So this will actually go into number two. Okay, so I gotta put this over here. Okay, so that is Bear Bright. So all of these, unfortunately, again, I'm looking at this one. This is almost 16 gauge, but not quite. So this is still, gonna go into my number two, okay? So it's gotta go over here, okay? And I've actually included, all of this is motor wire. Um, 
And because it is lower than 16 gauge, it is all going to go into number two. Okay. Uh, the next category, as I said, number one is tubes and pipes that have little or no tarnish. Okay. And also wire. Okay. If I look at this, there could be a little bit of tarnish on it. Okay. Um, the bottom or the middle one there, those are pushing it, but stuff like this, um, that's like the dirty penny look, as long as there's not a lot of corrosion on it, um, it will pass as number one copper. So as I said, number one copper is $3.94 a pound right now. Okay. Um, you got lots of it, different pipes. Okay. And I've seen a lot of people go in, you know, with something like this and think it's going to be a number one. The tube would be number one, but unfortunately, I have a brass end here. So if I was to bring this in, I'm going to get number two price because it has brass um, or if it has soldering on it, it would be number two. Okay, so in order to get number one price for this, there is a little bit of corrosion. Okay, so if I really want, um, they probably would give me number one, but if I just take a sandpaper, just quickly clean that off very quickly, I'll get a number one for sure, but I do want to make sure I take the brass off here, okay? But number one copper wire is classified as tubing or wire that has little corrosion, does not have any soldering on it, and is not bright, as bright as the um, bare bright, and it is wire that is higher than 16 gauge as well. The last category, as you can see here, I've got a number of it. Um, this actually comes off of a circuit board and a microwave. Uh, this actually is 16 gauge. However, if you look at the difference between the copper, this copper actually has a coating on it. Okay, if you look inside, I'm going to turn that. Inside's the nice copper look. Unfortunately, any copper that has a coating on it is going to be classified as number two. Okay, so. Any motor, I've said, because the, the thinness of the strand is less than 16 gauge, if it has oil on it, so if you take it out of a compressor or paint on it or a coating, it's all going to go into number two cup. Okay? And I've also included a couple wires here. So really, really uh, tarnished, uh, corroded. Um, these, because of all the corrosion, they're green completely. These would, if I took them in like this, go into number two. But again, given the price and how easy it is, I would sandpaper it off. So definitely something you want to do. But if I was to leave it, these would go into number one. Um, this one, as you can see, it is almost the 16 gauge. But again, it's if it was 16 gauge and higher, it's because of all the corrosion. Okay. Same thing with these ones. Now this one has actually two things wrong with it. Not only the heavy corrosion there, but it also has on the elbow here, soldering, okay? And I have also seen a lot of people bring stuff like this in. Um, if this was clean, they would bring this in and think they're gonna get number one price. Unfortunately, because it has the elbow uh, with the soldering, it's gonna be number two price. So in order to maximize your profit, all you wanna do is actually just cut here, cut here, Put this into your number two, and all of this, once you clean that up, would go number one. All right, so as you can see, a lot of different kinds. Okay, there's my, as I said, my strand um, that has the spools. Okay, so there is a fourth category that I'm not going to get into. It's more sheet copper, um, but these are your three main ones. Okay, so again, just to recap. Bare bright pertains to copper wire that is free of all corrosion. It is the shiny penny look and it is bigger than 16 gauge wire or the thickness of a lead pencil. It does not include copper tubing. Okay. Number one copper is copper tubing and copper wiring that is free of most tarnish. It is thicker than 16 gauge. Okay. And it is free of any soldering. Number two copper is any copper that is less than 16 gauge uh, individual strands. It has stuff like brass on it. Uh, it is heavily corroded. It has soldering. It is any type of motor wire. Okay, it has oil or coating. Um, that is your number two. 
Hopefully that helped. Please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Tin Man out.